acting on what you've been speaking. He needs you to lift up your head. Tell the devil, I know what it looks like, but I know what he said. Come on, grab somebody and tell them, I know what it looks like, but I know what it promised me. Here they are, they're on the other side. The children of Israel, they have found out that their blessing, they found out that their miracle was in being quiet. Turn to somebody and tell them, learn how to stop talking so much. Everybody you talking to, they for you in the first place. Everybody you talking to, they don't have the same level of faith you have. Some of them will mess around and send you into a place of depression. You don't even need to talk to some folks when it comes to spiritual things in God. Grab your neighbor by the hand and say, neighbor, I ain't got nothing to talk to nobody about because I've already talked to the Lord. The old folks that have a little talk with Jesus tell him all about your trouble look at your neighbor and say neighbor that's what God is saying tonight you done been to every prayer meeting there is you done laid on your face and fasted and all of that is wonderful but God said the answer is getting up and looking unto the hills from which cometh all your help stop calling prophets stop calling people that are spiritual but are not relational and learn how to turn your face to the wall and say God help thou my unbelief the greatest unbelievers in the body of Christ are leadership y'all don't want to help me in here because we come to church and we pump everybody else but the truth of the matter is like Moses we are beat up on the inside we're wondering God if you don't do it it ain't gonna happen and sometimes we feel like God just ain't moving is there anybody in here that knows what I'm talking about you said God win and how and before you know it you're rolled up in your bed don't even want to preach looking for somebody else to bring the word cause you're under your juniper tree of downtroddenness but the Lord said your answer is in your mouth look at your neighbor and say neighbor get up off of your face God told Moses, get off of your face. Stop praying right now. And I need you to put the prayer into action. Is there anybody in the room that's ready to put it to action? How many of you been asking God? God, when is my change coming? When are you going to turn it for me? The enemy's on my tail. And I've got a mountain before me. When? Ask your neighbor, when, when? When is God going to do it? And how is he going to do it? Because some of us are facing what seems to be impossible. But I found out that God specializes in things that seem impossible. And he will do what no other no other can do clap your hands and tell me yes the Bible says that as they get across now here's Pharaoh him and his army they're coming through and the sea closed on them there are folks in this season they're going to try to do what you did they're going to try to have what you have but they don't know the Lord like you know him I've come to know him in the power 
uh, of his resurrection. Uh, look at your neighbor uh, and say, neighbor, uh, you don't know uh, the cost of the hour uh, in my alabaster box. Uh, you don't know uh, why he opened that door for me. Uh, you got folks trying uh, to get through the same door. Uh, God open for you like Pharaoh did. Some of them going to try to get the favor on your life. Um, that God has given you. But I heard the Lord declare. He said, I'm only giving it to those who will get up and do something. Get up and move. Get up Say, Lord, Lord, have your way. Is there anybody in the room, in the room, in the room, that would look at your neighbor if you ain't scared and say, neighbor, all that praying is wonderful, but what you going to do? All that jumping is wonderful, but what you going to do? How much? You rendered unto the law for all of his benefits. Grab somebody by the hand and say, I need the all. I need it. Every hour. Every hour. I need it. Lord, bless me now. My Savior. I come. You ain't heard me. I don't hear nobody I come Nobody's coming for me Nobody's pushing me I come Look at your neighbor And say I'm coming I don't need another word I don't need nobody else To tell me What God already Confirmed in my spirit If I'm crossing over I gotta get up Stand up Move forward uh, and say, Lord, uh, I trust uh, what I can't trace. Uh, uh. One writer put it like this. One theologian said, God put a specially commissioned angel behind them. Look at somebody and tell them I got something special working in my favor. I don't hear nobody. All I know is that things should have failed terribly in my life. All I know you ought to testify to somebody that the doctor's report should have been terminal. All I know is that I should have been out of my right mind. But God commissioned a special angel to take me through. And as we're getting ready to even go into the new year, I want to help you understand all of this superstitious numerology we come up with every year. None of those things mean one thing without you doing something. The Bible declares there were four lepers that were laying by the gate and they declare to one another our circumstance is going to remain the same if we don't do something look at your neighbor and tell them after you finish all that shout after you finish all that speaking in tongues now put it into action you got to line your life up with the Lord I don't hear nobody you're going to have to cut off everything that's so easily beset you y'all ain't hearing me cause going into the next season of your life is gonna require being consecrated consecration cleanses the spirit so that you can see clearly now Jesus is our good shepherd but in order for us to do what the Lord commands of Israel 
through Moses. He said, see the salvation of the Lord. When you detox in the natural, everything in your body becomes better. Your seeing, your memory. And the Lord is saying, as the body of believers, as this great convocation of auspicious wonders come together tonight, it's important to know that in order for God to really get you to that next place, you will have to do something. Yes, he knows when you're praying to be seen. He knows when you're dancing to be seen. I don't hear nobody in here. Dancing is good, but what are you dancing for? Because you got a pretty shout. Or are you dancing? Because I don't know when God is going to bring me through, but I'm praising him in advance. Are you praising him for real, for real? What are you doing behind the scenes? God said these things, these things are going to shift you into that next season of your life. And every demon, every pharaoh that has been on your tracks, they must crumble. They must fall. I don't care what they knew about you. I don't care what they heard about you. Tell somebody I'm a used to be. God has smiled on me. He has set me free. And because he set me free, I can move out of this place of stagnancy, of complacency. And I can give him the best that I got. Tell somebody the best that I got. Not somebody else. Not copying nobody else's dance. Copying nobody else's tongue. Copying nobody else's praise. I'm authentically broken in his presence. Because I need God to do something. Now. Open your mouth and say now. to close but he says Paul says in Romans 5 verses 3 and 4 he says and not only so but we glory in tribulation also knowing that tribulation worketh patience and patience experience what is experience? It is what you have been made of. Come on, look at somebody and tell them. What Moses wanted was for God to fix it. But what God wanted was for Moses to use what he had already experienced. You want to tell somebody, you don't know. Like I know what the Lord has done for me. He goes on to say, and patience, experience, and experience hope, and hope. Make it not a shame because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. I don't hear nobody. Then come on, grab your neighbor and say, Then we got to remember what else Paul said. Paul declares. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed. Tell somebody, yes, there's cause for concern. But we are not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I need you to know ain't nothing else to talk about. Stop complaining about how things are. You home all day when you get home from work. 
This is your answer. I don't hear nobody. Get in your word. Spend time moving through the kingdom. Making an impact. Making the devil mad. I don't hear nobody. Grab your neighbor one more again. And say, neighbor, there is a place in God where he's taking us. Only those who are willing to do something, you're going to have to get up, open your mouth, walk through your house, begin to decree and declare. I don't hear no bad. You're going to have to walk through your house, decree and declare. My children are saved. You ain't got to call nobody. You want to call one of the intercessors. You want to call the pastor. Open your mouth and declare. My husband is saved. Open your mouth. Decree and declare. My wife is delivered. I dare you. Lay hands on your property. And say it's mine. It's mine. You ain't got to put it on Facebook. I don't hear nobody. Tell your neighbor. It's in your mouth. It's in your mouth. All you got to do is believe that the Lord has called you. And who he called, he has qualified. Open your mouth in here. I need everybody in the room. Leap to your feet. And tell your neighbor. Say neighbor. My favorite preacher. May not be here tonight. But this woman of God. Is telling me the truth. If I'm going to cross over. It's in me. Everything. I need. It's in me. When I get home. My household. Is going to shift. Because I'm going to shift it. My job. It's going to shift because I'm going to shift it. I'm going to walk in my authority. Is there anybody that has authority tonight in the Lord? If you do, I tell you to move out of your seat and go and tell somebody on another row. Everything is about to shift in my favor because God gave me the answer, the answer is in my mouth, is in my hand, is in my heart. Oh, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth and say yes, Lord. tell somebody you ain't got to ask me what it is because there's nothing left to talk about God's about to move he's about to move through you through you through you through you are you ready it's in you the Bible says who hath the sin unto the holy hill of the most high he that hath Clean hands, pure heart. That's why I told you, quit complaining. Get in his presence. Tell him, clean me. Purge me with his side. Because I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. I got to make it. If nobody needs it, sure, sure. Tonight. I dare you to turn where you are and tell him by the time I 
turn all the way around. Everything in my life has already shifted. If you believe it, if you believe it, I need you to find, find a partner and say, neighbor, can I have this dance? Can power meet power? Can power meet power? I don't hear nobody. Can I link up with you? By the time I get home, I'm believing God. My babies are going to be shifted in their thinking. My circumstance is going to be shifted. Court cases that have been held up working against you it's going to shift I hear the Lord saying that child support case if you turn one more time if you shift one more time he said it's over the Egyptians you see today you'll see them no more I said, by the time you get to work, look at somebody and tell them it's already done. I don't hear nobody in here. You prayed about it. You talked to God about it. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, don't complain about it another day. Don't get yourself frustrated another day. Get your hands clean. Get your heart right. Walk in your authority and tell the devil, Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. All the days of my appointed time, I'm going to wait on my change to come. As a matter of fact, I decree and declare, somebody's got a lump in their right breast. But tonight, God said lay hands on your own breast. And by the time you get home, it will already have been healed. You ain't got to get in a prayer line for this next miracle. You ain't got to pay no false prophet to lie to you. I'm telling you, God said there's nothing left to talk about. It's in you. It's in you. And it's in you now. I dare you now to look at your neighbor as I get ready to close and tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I'm not doubting who I am another day. I'm not beating my faith up in another season. I am who God says I am. And every devil, every liar, every word that has come against me, it has fallen this night. The midwife is here. Yes. And I came tonight to help the breathing. I came tonight. I don't hear nobody. To get the baby's head crowd. To let you know where you're headed is greater than where you've been. But you are the winning ticket. You are responsible for the crossover. I dare you. Open your mouth and tell him, yeah.